Just another day in Night City, eh? Well, this is my stop. Farewell. Recently, Night City has been ravaged by strange occurrences. From cars being thrown into the air, to people walking through solid objects, to odd civilian disappearances, many have turned to the likes of Twitter and Reddit to complain to the higher power at fault, but I decided I'd take matters into my own hands. Word on the street is that the Night City border wall is a vocal point for these happenings. So I got in my car and set out for the border wall. I had finally arrived at my destination and I had no idea what was in store for me. Cars were just passing through this wall as if they were traveling through platform nine and three quarters. And what was even stranger is their boot and car doors would fly off and they would curse me out as if I was smashing up their car. I had to get to the bottom of this mystery, no matter the cost. My first experiment was seeing if I could pass through the wall with a car if I stood on its roof. So I hitched a ride and it didn't work. He just went right on under me, right through the wall. And then while I was wallowing in my defeat, I got ran over by a car. For experiment two, I decided I would start a traffic jam. I had no idea what that would achieve, but I did it anyway. I stood on the hood of this car for 10 whole minutes. After 10 whole minutes, I achieved absolutely nothing, got two cars, and then decided to let them go, and decided to start again. This time I got three, and again, achieved absolutely nothing, got watching three cars pass through. I caught a car slightly through the barrier, and through an incredible display of physics, the car no. launched in the Please, air. No. This gave me an idea for experiment three. For experiment three, I would try and catch cars halfway through the wall and get in them. This could be my ticket to the other side of the wall. Maybe the physics would throw me over. But this car, however, just flipped on its roof on the spot. It wasn't helpful at all. I had caught a car halfway through the ground and wall and it let me get in. And it wasn't at all what I was expecting. I was looking down at the abyss under Night City. And she was still in the driver's seat. <laughs> you, you come here often? I mean, it's your car and all, but, you know. After striking up a conversation with the owner of the car, I decided it was time to get out. I was falling to my death under Night City and didn't know what to do. But through a miracle, I landed on my feet, I was back up on the surface, and I had a mystery to solve. Through an act of pure skill, I caught a car halfway through the wall, threw a woman into her grave, and then watched a man levitate above me. Chaos was breaking out. Go on. I caught another car halfway through the wall and got in. This time the whole car fell through the earth and the driver of the car apparently disappeared because I could get into the driver's seat. I was hurtling to my doom. It became quite peaceful just spinning in circles in the abyss, falling endlessly. Eventually I had to get out. I had to say goodbye to the car. But again, I landed peacefully on both legs back up on the surface, still with a mystery to solve. Just another day in Night City, eh? <laughs> well, this is my stop. Farewell. Whilst minding my own business on my side of the wall, I get hit by a car from the other, and I see this as a nice opportunity to take their car. But through a strange showing of physics, the car flies up in the air and causes a car on the other side to crash. I tap that car and it flies up on the wall and I have no fucking clue what's happening. Through a showing of pure skill and calculated physics, I wedge my way through to the other side of the wall. Through a strange sequence of events, I'd finally achieved my goal. I'd made it to the other side of the border wall. All of that built up for this. It wasn't what I expected. I could only move back and forth and up and down. I was confined to a two-dimensional realm. I was stuck in a 2D space. I tried everything to get out. I was desperate to leave this 2D hell. But nothing worked. The barbed wire confined me to this two-dimensional space. I guess you don't know what you have until you've lost it. I'd had my third dimension taken away from me, and I didn't cherish it while I had it. Until a shimmer of hope appeared, a car had crashed onto my side, and this was the perfect way to escape. I found the car door and got in. The car spazzed out and threw me back to the three-dimensional world. I had finally escaped my two-dimensional prison. I couldn't get back to the other side of the wall, even if I tried. I tried the car technique. I tried jumping straight over onto the barbed wire. None of it worked. I've learned that maybe some mysteries are just best left unsolved. 